thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller, and this video is going to be on the number one mistake made when introducing a thermal load into a linear static study using our SOLIDWORKS simulation professional package. So to begin with, let me just start by doing the static study and making the mistake. This is a 2 inch by 2 inch by 40 thousandths thick copper plate. I'm going to go in and create a static study. I'm going to call this static thermal test. Then what I want to do is I want to go into the properties of the study and tell it that its temperature is at 100 C at zero strain. From there I'm going to go in and introduce the thermal load to it by putting prescribed temperature. I'm going to go in and click on this nice little button that says select all exposed faces. So I don't need to go and select the faces one by one. And I'm going to go put those faces at 25 C. So from there I do need to stabilize the model and I'm going to use soft springs for that. And I should be able to go run the model and check my results. So here I see unusually high stresses for taking a copper plate that's two inches by two inches and taking it and starting it at 100 C and cooling it off to 25 C, I shouldn't see this high of stress, 232 megapascals. The yield strength is at 259 megapascals. So I also see my spotty results in here. So in order to really see that I'm looking at singularities, I'd probably want to run another test where I increase the number of elements in my part and rerun it. And I've done that here. It takes a little bit longer to run it, but I still see the spotty results and I see that I've really gone way above the yield, 281 now. So the more elements I, I put in the model, the higher the stress I'm seeing singularities. I can also go in there and kind of verify this by looking at the section clipping in here and going back and taking the part back into the middle and looking at the section. I can really tell that I'm looking at some erroneous results because this just doesn't make sense at all. So let me go in and show you where I made that problem. I'll go back to my original study here. And this is where I made the problem. By coming in and clicking that nice little convenient button that says select all exposed faces, or by even clicking them one by one and not pushing the convenient button and coming over here and selecting all the faces until I got all of them is where the mistake is made. You cannot select faces in this area because that is putting an infinitely thin surface into a temperature load which is going to create an infinite amount of stress result. In other words, a singularity. So what we really want to do here is pick the bulk of the part. And we've got a couple different choices in, to do this we can come in and turn on our solid bodies filters and then just select the solid body. That would work. Or we could come in and actually select the solid body out of the solid bodies folder. This is my preferred method. The only thing wrong with this method is generally when you only have one solid body in your part file, you're not going to see this solid bodies folder there. So you can't pick from that folder. What I have done in order to see that folder is I've gone into my options and under my feature manager for my solid bodies folder, I set it to show rather than on automatic. Automatic, it'll only show if you have two or more solid bodies in your part file. So this way it'll show no matter what. And I like when I'm working with the thermal package or our simulation stress package, I like being able to pick from solid bodies. Therefore, I go ahead and make sure I can see my solid bodies folder. Either way will work. You just have to make sure that as far as your temperature is concerned that you're prescribing, it is on the solid bulk of the body and not on just the outer faces. Now if I go run this,
my results show me something that equals what it should. Either if I did this by theory or running in any analysis program that's given an accurate result, I should see very, very little stresses throughout my part. And you can see where I'm at with my stress. It's just really negligible at this point. And, uh, you know, introducing more elements to this will get a little finer of a consistency through here, but really uh, um, my stress is so low here that it's negligible. So that's really the main problem is the difference between picking a body here versus picking all the faces. So do not pick faces, pick bodies when you're meaning to heat an entire body up. Doing the faces is not the same thing. So again, thanks for watching another quick tip video. Go Engineer.